Hello, everyone. Welcome to Fin Data C. Please like and subscribe our videos below. Your support means a lot to us, and we really appreciate it. Today, we are going to introduce you about our series videos on Futu Mumu API. This is a complete replicate of our Chinese episode, so-called a bow of Futu API. So, if you are using the Hong Kong version Futu Bu instead of Futu Mumu, or simply prefer Chinese over English, feel free to check out our channel for the episode named "A Bow of Futu API." In today's video, we are going to take you through three topics. First, an overview of our API episode, exactly what topics we will be covering, and what you can expect to learn from watching our videos. Second, we're going to show you the API document, the Bible for Mumu API. From there, we can find information on various functions and the architecture behind the API interface. On top of that, we're also going to give you a brief introduction on some of the commonly used API functions, which we will be covering in detail in the later videos. Last but not least. We are going to show you how to install the API software and use it. Enough said. So let's get started. To date, we have 16 videos on the Chinese version of the Mumu API. Of course, this list will keep expanding, and we intend to remake these videos one by one in English. Here are some of the topics you may be interested. For example, the video on data subscription and stock filter. Where we will be teaching you how to subscribe the API data package, which is a prerequisite for you to use many of the API functions. In that lesson, we will also teach you how to do a basic stock filtering based on common criteria such as trading volume, 52 weeks high and lows, as well as your favorite ratios such as price to earnings and price to book. After the basics, we will have more advanced topics. On how to pick the hottest sectors in the market, correlation analysis between your stocks and benchmark indices, and technical analysis of candlestick patterns using third-party modules and the Mumu API at the same time. We will also touch on topics involving your everyday trading. That's right, the stop loss and profit take. Our video will show you step by step on how to set up a trading stop loss. In plain English, a moving stop loss, which will change as your stock price goes higher and higher. Some of our topics, such as the money flow, is highly appraised in the Hong Kong market due to the Hong Kong-China stock connect. Although the lesson is presented using stock examples from Hong Kong market, the technique is universal and can be applied in the U.S. and Singapore market as well. Let's pause here for one second. Allow me to bring your attention to the disclaimer down below the video. Very well. Now let's go to the second part of our video, the API document. Let's jump to Google and search for Futu Mumu API. The link should pop up on the very top. Go into the document page. On the top right corner, we can select the display language and the code language. All of our videos will be presented in Python, so here we will select Python. The API functions can be generalized into two groups: the Quote API and the Trade API. Today, we are going to introduce you a few commonly used functions. The first function is called request history K line. This function is used to get historical stock data, or we can say historical candlesticks, because basically it gives open, close, high, and low prices. Apart from the candlesticks data, this function also gives us useful information on volume, turnover, and change rate, etc. 
The second commonly used function is called getFitStock. It gives us the stock code from a predefined sector, also called plate in here. For instance, TMT sector and healthcare sector. With this function, we can observe the performance of different sectors and conduct further study with them. The third and fourth functions relate to money flow. As we all know, the fundamental drive behind stock price is supply and demand. So here, we can either use the function get capital flow to find the night inflow of money and apply various technical indicators such as money flow index. Or we can use the function get capital distribution to look deeper into the capital where they are divided into small order, medium order, and large order. The last function is get option chain. If you trade options, this function is a must have. It gives you a number of commonly used Greeks such as Delta, Gamma, and Vega to help you form your trading strategy. There are a lot more functions than the ones we just introduced, and in our later videos, we will go through them one by one with real-world examples to help you understand. Now let's go to the last part of today's video, the installation of API software. First, we go to Moomoo's official website, moomoo.com. On the very top, we click the download tab. Then we screw all the way down and click open API. Here we select who to open D and download the respective version matches your operating system. After installation, we can open the OpenD software on your desktop. Input your Moomoo username and password, then log in. After login, the interface will display various information about our account, such as how many data subscription we have left. Keep this window running in the background, and now you can use Python to start trading on Moomoo. Thank you for watching today. Make sure to like and subscribe below. It means a lot to us. Thanks for your support to our next video and have a great day.